Hello there math leads, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, flex ko lang yung aking mga official social media accounts. You can follow me at Instagram at ARL04 and TikTok at Maths and Logics wherein I post uh, math shortcuts or tricks and logic questions that will pickle your mind for you to be able to be a critical and logical thinker. And if you have queries, questions, suggestions, clarifications, corrections regarding this video, I am very much open with that. You can reach me out at my official Facebook account at Larry Manalang Del Rosario. Okay. And of course, do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel kasi more than a year na din ako sa YouTube and ako ang tipa lang ng mga subscribers ko. I hope you can help me with that. And of course, do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on my latest upload. Medyo napahaba na yung intro natin. Okay? So we all know that we are in a crisis because of the pandemic. In preparation for that, for the opening of classes, the Department of Education is planning to do a blended learning. And part of that blended learning is the online learning. Okay, so in this video, magkakaroon tayo ng series of lessons about high school mathematics. In particularly, grade 8 mathematics. And uh, doon patungkol yung video natin ngayong araw. Okay, bago tayo mag-start, let's first identify the objective of the video. So at the end of the video, the student will be able to factor polynomial using the greatest common monomial factor. Okay. Ang first lesson na i-discuss natin ay factory. Okay? Ito yung unang lesson na pinag-aaralan sa grade 8 and part of the MELCs. Okay? So, yung factory, may iba't iba siyang uh, types. It depends upon dun sa kind or type ng polynomial na nakapresent. Okay? That means, magkakaroon tayo ng series of lessons regarding factory. Okay, yung unang lesson natin, to be more specific, is the greatest common monomial factor. So, bago tayo mag-start, let us have a short read about, the, about the greatest common factor. Okay? So, find the greatest common factor or GCF of the numbers 18 and 30. Okay? Ano nga ba muna yung greatest common factor? So, I guess you are already familiar with the greatest common factor kasi na-discuss na to ng paulit-ulit sa elementary and even when you were in grade 7, na-encounter nyo na din yung greatest common factor. So, counting or brief recap lang, when we talk about greatest common factor, greatest means pinakamalaki, common, na magkamuka na factor ng dalawang number. Yung factor, ito yung mga number na kapag dinivide natin dun sa number na yon wala siyang remainder. Or, uh, divisible siya dun sa number na yun. Okay, meron tayong dalawang way in finding the GCF or the greatest common factor. The first one is the prime factorization. And the second one is the listing method, wherein you are going to list all the possible factors of the numbers. Okay, so, yun yung ginawa ko. Okay, so, ililista natin. In 18, ang mga factors niya ay 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Ibig sabihin, pag dinivide natin po lahat kay 18, walang remainder. Okay, 30 naman, we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So, pag dinivide natin lahat yan kay 30, wala din remainder. The reason why it is called greatest common factor is simply because hahanapin natin yung pinakamalaking magkamukha sa kanila. So, ano yung? Definitely, that's 6. That means the greatest common factor of 18 and 30 is 6. Aside from that, ang ginagawa ko para hindi na ako mag-list, titignan ko agad yung smaller number. So, I'll start number, mag-start ako dun sa number, dun sa smaller number natin na 18. Okay. Uh, shortcut lang itong ituturo ko sa inyo. So, yung 18, hindi siya factor ni 30. Why? When we divide 30 by 18, may remainder. Ano pa ba yung possible na factor ni 18? 9. 9. Factor ba ni 30 si 9? Hindi din. Susunod ay 6. Factor ba ni 30 si 6? Yes. So, doon ka nahihinto. That means 6 is their greatest common factor. Another example. Find the greatest common factor or the GCF of the numbers 5 and 25. So, all you have to do is to list. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, lalagyan nyo lahat ng factor. So, we have 1, 5 for 5. And then, 1, 5, 25 for 25. Ano yung greatest na magkamuka? That's 5. Or, sabi ko nga sa inyo, tignan nyo yung smaller number. Yung smaller number, tignan nyo kung factor siya ng bigger number. 
When we divide 25 by 5, the answer is 5, walang remainder. That means the greatest common factor is 5. Okay, now you try. Find the greatest common factor or GCF of the numbers. Ayan. So I'll give you time. You may pause the video for a while para sagutan to. Okay, then i-resume nyo na lang kapag tapos nyo na siyang sagutan. Okay, let, let me reveal the answer. 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 8, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6, 9, 7, 15, 8, 24, 9, 15, 10, 9. Okay, so I hope nakakuha kayo ng perfect score kasi review lang to and it is too elementary. Factoring out the greatest common monomial factor is the reverse of multiplying a monomial by a polynomial. So, kanina, hindi pa yun yung main topic natin. Uh, Nagkaroon lang tayo ng short recap kasi gagamitin natin yung, yung um, competency na yun para mas maintindihan ninyo kung ano ba yung greatest common monomial factor. Okay. Sabi dito, ang pagpa-factor daw ng greatest monomial common factor ko ay common, greatest common monomial factor ay kabaligtaran ng pagmumultiply ng monomial by a polynomial. But simply, factoring is the reverse of the special product. Okay, paano natin nasabing reverse? So, eto yun. In multiplication, 3 times the quantity x plus 2 when you were in grade 7. Diba, dinidistribute natin yan? So, 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is positive 6. So, our answer is 3x plus 6. In factored form, Babalik na rin natin. So, given na dito yung sagot, ibabalik natin sa 3 times the quantity of x plus 2. That is what we call factor form. Okay, na gets. Factoring out a monomial. So, in order for you to easily understand, let's have a series of examples. So, meron ako dito in polynomial term and in factor form. Okay. So, example number 1, we have 3x plus 6. Nakita na natin kanina, di ba? Kung Ano yung factor in form ng 3x plus 6? Pero identify pa din natin kung paano siya ginagawa. Okay. So, una natin gagawin is to find the GCF between the terms. Okay. We have two terms. That's why it is called binomial. 3x and then 6. Sa 3x and 6, ano yung greatest na common sa kanila? Okay. Itong unang term may variable. Right. Yung ikalawang term, walang variable. That means, walang common na variable sa kanilang dalawa. Okay, next. Yung unang term, may 3 na constant. Yung pangalawang term, may 6 na constant or coefficient. And that means, yun yung titignan natin kung ano yung common sa kanila. May common ba? Yes. And that's 3. Because when we divide uh, both terms by 3, wala siyang remainder. Okay, so ang gagawin natin yan after natin kuhatin yung common factor, common monomial factor, i-divide natin itong isa-isa. So, 3x divided by 3, which is x, 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Ayan. So, our answer is 3 times x plus 2. Another example, 5x squared minus 15x. So, sabi ko kanina, you always look to a smaller number or smaller variable. Kung papansin niyo dito, they both have variable. So, x squared at then x. Automatic, x is a smaller so, ito yung gagamitin natin na common factor. Next, si 5 and 15. Meron din silang common factor. Ano yun? 5. So, gagamitin natin ay 5x. Okay. Then, i-divide natin isa-isa yung term kay 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x is x. And 15x divided by 5x is 3. Okay. So, hindi ko na masyado nga elaborate yung pag-divide ng uh, polynomial since nat napag-aralan nyo na to when you were in grade 7. But, magpo-post pa din ako ng mga grade 7 lessons. So, kung gusto nyo balikan yung lesson nyo when you were in grade 7 uh, para makakatch up ng mas madali dun sa lesson nyo ngayon ng grade 8, mas maina. So, para malaman niyo kung tama yung sukot niyo you can multiply it, no? to check whether your answer is correct. Paano yun? That's what we call distributing. Didistribute natin kung paano ginagawa ninyo when you were in grade 7. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. So our answer is correct. Okay, next. Example. 
we have 4x squared plus 6x plus 8. And identify natin what's common. It has variable, it has variable, it do not have, it does not have variable. That means wala tayong common factor na variable. Next, tingnan natin yung coefficient nila. 4, 6, and 8. What's common between the three? They both have 2. Okay. And then, we are going to divide each term by 2. So, we have 4x squared divided by 2, it will become 2x squared. 6x divided by 2, it will become 3x. 8 divided by 2, it will become 4. So, our factor form is 2 times the quantity of 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. Example number 4. We have 5x cubed minus 2x squared minus x. Every, uh, every term has variable. Okay. Mamasay nyo lahat sila may x. Tingnan natin yung pinakamaliit. X. So, X is the common variable between the three terms. Next. Tingnan natin kung lahat sila may coefficient. It has 5, 2. Ito ang coefficient niya 1. That means wala silang common uh, factor in terms of the coefficient. That means ang ilalagay lang natin ay X. And then we are going to divide each term by X. Paano yun? 5X cubed divided by X is 5X squared. 2x squared divided by x is 2x, and x divided by x is 1. Okay, another example. We have 2x cubed y minus 12x squared y raised to 4. Okay, kung mapansin nyo, pareha sila merong variable na x and y. Kunin natin yung list, x squared and then y. So, meron tayo x squared and y. And then, ano yung common sa kanilang dalawa dun sa numbers? 2 and 12. We have 2. So, we have the, the their common factor is 2x squared y. Then, afterwards, i-divide natin per each term doon sa 2x squared y. 2x squared, 2x cubed y divided by 2x squared y is simply x. Siyempre, cancel yung 2, cancel yung y, 3 minus 2 is 1, so meron tayong natirang isang x. Next, 12x squared y raised to 4 divided by 2x squared y. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. x squared divided by x squared, cancel. y raised to 4 divided by y, may 1 to, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, our factor form is 2x squared y times x minus 6y cubed. Another example, 2x cubed minus 15y raised to 4. Tingin tayo ulit. Magkaiba sila ng variable, so technically, hindi sila, um, wala tayong variable na common factor nila. Aside from that, 2 and 15. Yung lupang 2 and 15, si uh, 2, ang factor lang niya ay 1 and 2. Si 15, wala siyang factor na 2. So, 1 lang yung magkamukha nilang factor. That means they do not have a greatest common factor. Okay, that means walang common factor. Ang sagot natin dito ay prime. Prime na siya. Prime na yung polynomial kapag hindi na siya factorable. Okay, you may try this. Uh, get a pen and a paper and try solving these 14 items lang naman. You pause the video for a while and then balikan nyo na lang kapag tapos na kayo magsagot. So may, maybe I'll give you uh, 30 minutes to finish answering these problems. Okay, grade 8 students. And then, here is the answer for the problem. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Again, um, this is Larry M. Del Rosario. Follow me on my official social media accounts. And do not forget to subscribe on this channel. You may also uh, comment kung nakailan kayo dito sa ating account. Thank you, great eight students. I hope you learned something on our video. Meron pa tong kasunod kasi ito yung first lesson natin. May kasunod pa tong mga videos na to. So don't you worry. Maray pa kayong matutupunan sa ating YouTube channel. Thank you and good day.